What's going on everyone? This is Josh, AKA the Lucky Botter for Swift Soul TV, where we're gonna be taking you through the Supreme True Religion collaboration and how to set up the mobile bot Swift Soul and also what's profitable for this drop. Apologies again that we haven't got a live stream. I know we haven't had it for a couple of weeks now, but that's just because of some technical difficulties with the studio. And not only that, but COVID issues are still preventing some days in there, et cetera, et cetera. But we will be back. I do promise we will be back to live streams, but you know we've got you. We've still been able to do these streams, these videos where we show you exactly how to set up Swift Soul. So I'm going to bring up Swift Soul just here, and we're basically going to be going through this week's drop list. We're going to really brush through these items, and I'm only really going to spend some time on the items that I think might be worth going for if you're looking for some profitable drops. But let's face it, Supreme's not been that profitable recently, and this drop is no different. So first and foremost, we're inside of the task section here, and straight away, all you need to do is press the plus sign and go to create task. That's going to bring up the list for this week and what we think is profitable and also what we think is going to be selling. Now, bear in mind, we don't have all of the retails yet, but that will be updated as soon as it's ready inside of your app. So first and foremost, the hex bug. Now, the thing is with the hex bug, we think it might be US only and it's kind of rumored to only be US. So if you're from the EU, this is not going to be dropping for you. Is that going to be profitable? There are some people that are liking it. I don't know because it is a kid's toy at the end of the day. It goes on like a little track. It's kind of like an old scale electrics type thing, but it's a pretty cool piece for people to use. It's got some nostalgia for some of you, I guess, millennials out there. So it might be something to go for if the retail is low enough. So we do think that it might have some resale. Then going through down to the food jar. Now, although on the app it shows us some down votes, the actual food jar, I think, does have a potential for a flip in order to get some profit. This, of course, will depend on what the retail is, but generally speaking, maybe a $20, maybe minimal $10 return. It keeps food either cold or it keeps food warm as well. So it might be something to actually go for. We then go into the main drop of this week. First of all, the Arabic logo five panel. I'm a big fan of the Arabic logo, but a lot of the items have been bricking recently, so I don't think that's gonna go for much. Same with all of the hats, really. You've got a camo beanie. The military boonie is actually pretty cool, and it's the kind of season for that now, especially here in the UK. So it might be worth going for if you've already got customers. But then we look at the mixed stripe beanie, not that nice in all honesty. And then we come into the actual collaboration of true religion. All of this stuff, I'm gonna be honest, is not really a go. I mean, this is basically a bit, outdated now true religion was hyped maybe six to seven years ago but it's really not a place for it anymore now i do quite like the john coltrane um love supreme denim jacket i do like that piece but i think it's going to be such a high retail that there's not going to be any point going for it in my opinion but it all will depend on that retail if it's anything below 300 dollars, which i don't think it will be that might be worth going for but again don't think it's going to be that low to be honest then we look at the denim cargo pants. Cargo pants are in at the moment, but because they've got those white seams around the pockets, I just don't think they drop too well in honesty. I do quite like the Gons corduroy shirt. I think it's quite a cool piece. I actually like this for a personal in all honesty. I think putting it with some jeans will look quite cool, especially in the winter. The black and also the olive colorway, I think will do pretty well. But again, I don't know if Gons is still iconic enough for Supreme in order for it to actually have a lot of resale. So again, if you've got clients ready to roll with it, if you're seeing it in groups that people want it, then go for it. Otherwise, I don't think it's the best bet. Now, the Air Force Ones usually drop on a Friday, so usually the day after the main drop. However, this week, I believe they dropped on the Monday or the Tuesday. So Supreme are kind of doing shock drops throughout the week. I would still have some tasks ready, especially for Friday, just to make sure in case there is a shock drop and just keep an eye inside of the Swift Soul Discord and we'll let you know if they have dropped or not. We then go on to the hoodies, True Religion Zip Up. It's not gonna have much resale. The tail hooded sweatshirt, again, probably not. Then over to this week's t-shirts, Ringer Tee, Vines Tee, absolutely not. Now, when they showed this face's jumper on the lookbook, I actually quite liked it. I think it's quite a cool concept. I would have preferred it without the Supreme down at the bottom there, in all honesty. Does it have enough for people to actually go for it for resale? I don't know. It all depends on the retail of this item. Um, again, I think the white goes better than the black, but who really wears white during winter in regards to going out and getting muddy and stuff like that? So nice for a personal piece, 
probably not that good for resale, but again, check your groups and check local people that buy Supreme off you and see if they want it. And then the baseball jersey, I think is a cool piece. I do quite like it. I like the way that they've used uh, the camo, the blocking that they've done with all of that writing there. However, this is probably mainly a US piece. Where I'm from the UK, we don't really go for stuff like this. So if you're from the US, you can probably gauge it better than me in honesty. So in order to set up your tasks, let's say for instance, I was this week gonna go for one of those Gons work shirts, the corduroy thing, let me find it, there we go. So I reckon, I quite like the olive. I think with a black jeans, I think it's cool. So what I'd do is I'd pick olive. Now bear in mind, the colors may not be correct. These are just a guess in regards to what Supreme have usually done, but you may want to go for random just in case Supreme does change the color on it or mucks around with something, who knows. Anyway, quantity, you can only have one per profile. When we're looking at profiles, what we mean is if you want to go for multiple items, what you need to be doing is using a different name, different address, different phone number, different card details. Basically, everything needs to be unique. Now, when it comes to that, what you can do is something called jigging your profile, which means if I was, I know, John Smith, I might on the second profile put John Smith. So it kind of changes it a bit so that Supreme doesn't see that it's the same person trying to check out. Also with your address, you might change it up a bit or enough for Supreme to not see it's the same address, but still to get the delivery of your items. For instance, if you lived at one Bond Street, you might put one Band Street and then obviously the postcode is gonna be the same. You need to play around with that. You need to figure out which sort of things you can do how hard you can jig, how soft you need to jig to still get your deliveries and not get flagged by your postal service. So do try it out. Now sizes, when it comes to sizes on Supreme, small is always the most in demand, then XL, then large, and then medium usually sits for a while. Now when there's a double XL drop, generally speaking, t-shirts, hoodies, etc., do very well as well. But it's very rare for Supreme to drop double XL. So don't assume that they're always gonna do that. But generally speaking, small, XL, large, then medium, that's the most profitable sizes. Now I'm a medium, so I'm quite lucky because my size hardly goes out of stock straight away. So let's say I go for a medium in this. You've then, if you have got Swift Soul Premium, you've got two options for your captures. You can either do manual capture inside of the bots or Harvestin, or Harvester, sorry, or you can use AYCD Auto Solve, which is an auto solving service for capture. And I'll explain that a little bit more. But basically, what captures are is a kind of anti-bot service, shall we say, where at checkout, if you haven't got a high trust score, so in other words, Supreme's checkout system can't determine whether you're a human or a bot, it gives you nine grids to basically choose pictures in order for you to solve to show that you're human. Now, recently, Supreme has been using HCAPTURE, which is one of the hardest ones, where it goes, picks the truck, moves you to a second window and pick the trucks again, and then you verify after that. Now you can manually solve them inside of the bot using the harvester, or if you're on premium, you can use AYCD, where basically you pay for an external service, I think it's around $25 a month. If you go down below in our description on the details of AYCD, we have a small code for you there to give you promotion. Again, it's a third party company, so it's not like it's us making more money or anything like that. And what will happen, the captures will get pushed to AYCD, and then that will auto solve it for you. Now, the way in which it does that is via Gmails. So basically the trust score is linked to your Gmail profile, so your Google profile. And if you use that Google profile to, I don't know, surf the internet, read your emails, watch me on YouTube, etc., then basically you'll get a higher trust score. So you can log in to a Gmail on SwiftSoul and that will ideally or hopefully give you a higher trust score and hopefully you won't get any captures and they'll be invisible where it trusts you enough just to go through. However, what you can do with AYCD is load like 100 Gmails so that you're getting something like 10,000 one-click captures. So it's really good if you want to go for multiple items, basically. Now, I'm just going to be doing Capture Harvester inside of the bot so you can see that. And if you're not already signed up to premium, you can do that. It's around $5 a month. It only goes when the actual season is on, so then it gets paused. And with the upcoming BOGO drop, I would recommend getting used to using AYCD or used to using all the premium services just so you know you're ready to go on the drop time. Now task mode, I usually use drop to begin with and then 15 to 20 minutes in, if I haven't hit yet, I then move to restock mode. So I'm gonna to go to drop. Um, you can use either mobile or desktop site. Now, if you think about it, sometimes the desktop site gets overloaded and basically no one can check out. 
but then sometimes mobile is checking out and then vice versa. So it's a good sort of, I guess, habit to have a mixture of all different task types, both mobile and desktop. I'm just going to do desktop for now. We do have PayPal checkout, but that was experimental. It still is. I wouldn't recommend using that yet because it is too slow. It doesn't give you cart hold and sometimes it doesn't work. Now, start time. You can do a custom start time where you want it to start one minute before the drop and you put in 10.59 or you can just do manual and start task yourself. I like to do manual. I like to be there at the drop. But if you think you may not be there, you may not be there for it. Start custom and you can go from there. So I saved the task. I'm going to put that in and then also Let's say for this drop, I was like, do you know what? It's not that profitable. So what I'm going to be doing is a, a multi-cart. I'm going to go for, say, the red uh, Supreme Food Jar with size. I either do NA or sometimes I just do random to make sure that I do hit something. So I'm just going to put save task there. And if I go into my task list now, I've got the two tasks on the screen. Now, currently, they're in separate carts. You can see the codes of the carts underneath each other, basically, AQV and HET. Now, if you've got premium, what you can do is something called multi-cart, where basically Swift Soul will add one to the cart, then add another and then check that out. The benefit of that is that you can save money on shipping like $10 or whatever. So although it's a bit of a brick week, it means you're going to maximize your profits when you come to sell the items because you're not paying any shipping on one of the items. Now, bear in mind, you shouldn't do that for hype drops. Don't be putting a BOGO and other things in a, in a cart because it's just not going to be quick enough. And you're going to find that when you come to checkout, it's going to be out of stock. So to do that, I press plus, I go on to multi-cart and I never do this first time, but I hold on to one of them. I bring it into the other cart and I drop it again. It never happens first time. There we go. And now they are both in one cart and you can see that via the code there. Now, just before I want to run Swift Soul, there's a couple of things I need to do. First of all, I need to add my Gmail. You can see in the middle there, that's where you add and log into a Gmail again to give you that higher trust score, ideally. And then after that, I put Harvester if I'm not using AYCD. If you are using AYCD, there's some stuff you've got to do inside of that program. And again, down below in the description, there is the details and the guide on that. However, otherwise, I just have this Harvester open and basically all my captures come into there. Then a minute to go. Very simply, all I do is press Start All. And of course, you're going to see nothing's going to happen because it hasn't dropped yet. It's waiting. And you can see what Swift Soul is doing is waiting for one of the items. It's going to add that to cart. Then it will go to the other item and add that to cart as well. And then when you're ready to, to stop, you stop. So again, it's one minute just before the drop. Start your tasks. Keep running. Generally speaking, Supreme likes to restock for the next hour. And after around 20 to 30 minutes of going, if you haven't hit yet, then of course, what you do is go on to restock mode. Anyway, that's it for today. Again, apologies for not being able to do the live uh, stream inside of the studio, but they will come back. We do promise. And hopefully you hit anything you want. Again, if you've got any questions, do go into the Discord. We've got an invite down below. The guides are all down below as well, so you can go through them if you're struggling. But open up a ticket in the Discord and all of our support team are there to help. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, be lucky.